Five years ago, I set out on the most epic adventure of my life, riding a bike to the South Pole. This is my story. You know, I never was very good at sports. When I was a kid, and we'd all line up so the team captains could pick their teams, I always thought I should get picked somewhere around in the middle of the pack. But somehow, when it came down to only two people left to pick from, I would be there looking at the other guy and thinking, there is no way they will pick him over me. But they would. So I wasn't a natural athlete. However, I was lucky to be entering my teenage years at the same time that Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak developed the Apple computer and my dad bought an Apple II computer for our family. My brother and I taught ourselves how to program computers, and after serving as a missionary for my church, I started a career as a computer programmer. You may be wondering, why all these mountain bike videos when he's talking about computers? And what does this have to do with Antarctica? Well, you see, sitting at a desk all day, programming left me a little overweight, and one day, my company had this health fair and they took my blood pressure and drew blood for, for a cholesterol test. It turned out not only did I have high blood pressure, but my cholesterol numbers were really bad. I panicked. For a couple of months, whenever I was hungry, I would look through the house looking for something to eat. But it seems that everything has fat or cholesterol in it, no matter how hungry I was. About the only thing I could get myself to eat was oatmeal and Cheerios. Fortunately, I had friends at work who were into mountain biking. I had done some mountain biking in the past, but these co-workers were into a whole different level of biking. I started going riding with them. Trying to follow them up hills would get my heart pounding so hard I thought my chest would explode. Every day we would go riding for lunch, and frequently after work, or on Saturdays, we would do longer rides. I was looking forward to Sunday so I would have one day of rest, but the sore legs and endless overtraining did something for me. My cholesterol numbers and my blood pressure returned to normal. I really believe that mountain biking saved my life. Eventually though, Novell decided to move all the work my department was doing to developers in India, and they laid off the whole department. At this time, I decided I wanted to give others the joy and health benefits that I had received from mountain biking. So I walked away from a lucrative career as a programmer and became a poor, struggling bike shop owner. And then a trend in mountain biking started, the fat bike. Winters were always very difficult for the bike store. For some strange reason, people wouldn't do a lot of biking when it was snowing. But the fat bike changed that. With the fat bike, mountain biking was now a four-season sport. I bought a few fat bikes for the store, and one of the first things we decided to do was to ride our bikes across Utah Lake. As a kid, I had heard stories of people trying to ice skate across the frozen lake, falling in and dying. So we were a bit scared at first, and we bought some ropes and prepared for what to do if someone fell in. However, the lake was frozen solid, and we had no problems. We ended up being in the news and people were saying how crazy we were, but they had no idea what crazy really was. Now that I was into fat biking, a friend of mine informed me of a guy named Eric Larson who was attempting to ride his fat bike to the South Pole. <laughs> no way! That is crazy! So I started reading Eric's blog. He made it a quarter of the way before he decided he needed to turn around and go back. Then I had a customer who would come into the store and tell me he was going to win the lottery and then we would bike together to the South Pole. And while my first reaction was, there's no way I could ride a bike to the South Pole, after a few weeks, the idea kind of sunk into my soul. And five years ago today, the guy, who was always the last one picked to be on the team, found himself at the airport about to fly off and try and accomplish an extreme sporting event that nobody had done before. Next up on the South Pole Epic, I arrive in Punta Arenas and explore the area while I wait for my flight to Antarctica.